I appreciate this. But I know how busy you are. Well, I'm afraid I'm not much of an expert on tapes. If you need any technical answers, just ask Thompson. Yes, sir. Thompson? Lieutenant Colombo. The tapes that I sent down are his. Well, how do you do, Lieutenant? Lieutenant, uh, what are we going to be looking at? This may be difficult for you. This was recorded the night of the murder. It shows the death of your mother and the arrival of the security guard after the shooting. Mr. Thompson, I assume that you cut the tape in the place that I marked it. Yes, I did. The arrival of the security guard would be on the right monitor, and the shooting would be on your left monitor. Would you start him up, please? Now, the one on the right is after the murder. That's when the security guard came in and discovered the body. See, his presence in the room activated the tape. That's when it started up again. Freeze that. Freeze this. Excuse me. Lieutenant, exactly what are you looking for? I don't know, a clock on a wall, a watch, a shadow. Something that will definitely establish the exact time of the murder. Well, Baxter said it was 9.30. He saw the whole thing. He was an eyewitness. Not exactly. He saw it on a monitor. He wasn't actually in the room. see I'm not sure let me ask you something can you zoom in close like they do in the football games can you do that on this tape well sure that's no problem what do you see I'm not sure I'm not sure. I'll call you as soon as the meeting is over. What kind of a face is this again? You know, I'm only concerned what is good for you. You went through a nightmare, I know. We need each other even more than ever before. Thank God you went to the gallery that night. What do you mean? If you'd been here, I might have lost you both. I think I have to go now. Good afternoon, Mr. Benwick. Well, what is it? A new experiment? I'm sorry to bother you again so soon. Perhaps it's more convenient for you, Lieutenant, if you just move in one of our guest rooms. I'm a nuisance, I know, but I do have a problem. I need your help. It won't take long. It's about these tapes. What about it? I wonder if you can run them for me. I'm sure you can explain this. It's a technical question. This is the last time. I promise it will not happen again. Farewell, Lieutenant. I take your words for it. Good afternoon, Mr. Benwick. Hello. This is Officer Bronson. How do you do? How do you do? I think it's better if you remain out here. Two tapes? Yes. What is it? One is the arrival of the security guard, and the other is the shooting of your mother-in-law. You mean the tape I gave you, you cut? Yes, sir. Would you play them? Which first? Both at the same time.
You know, I don't know much about these things. Is it possible to take that tape and play it into the closed TV system here so that it could be seen by Baxter on the monitor in the gatehouse? Everything is possible with this equipment. That's what Mr. Thompson said. I just wanted to confirm it. Ready. Good. You can start. Freeze that. Freeze this. You know, sir, I checked your alibi with Baxter in the Grand Galleries, and for a while there, I accepted your story. Then I happened to be watching a football game on TV, and they did one of those tape replays. That's when it hit me. What are you talking about? You fed a videotape of the study with no one in it down to the gatehouse. An empty room. While it was playing, you shot your mother-in-law. Then you set the machine to feed the murder tape, this tape here, into the closed circuit system so that Baxter would see it after you arrived at the art show. All you required was an automatic timer to start the tape at the right time. This is uh, an amusing theory, Lieutenant, but just a theory. I wouldn't say it if I couldn't prove it. You see that? What? Compare this spot with this spot. Do you see the difference? No. You're right, it's hard to see. I almost missed it myself. But if you look very carefully, you'll see that this spot on this monitor is lighter in color than this spot on this monitor. And that's what caught my eye. And I thought at first it might be a reflection. But I had to be sure. Advance button. Do you see it now? What? You still don't recognize it? No. Well, then let's make it very close. Carol? That's your invitation to the art gallery. That's what it is. You can even see your name written on it. It's your invitation. I went back and got this from the Grand Galleries. This is this. This is what you presented at the art show the night of the murder. The problem is it was on the desk immediately after the shooting. How did it get to the art gallery? By your own testimony, you took it there. But in order to get it off the desk, you practically had to step over the body. That woman was shot before you left the house, and you shot her. This is insane. This is uh, absolutely insane. <laughs> Elizabeth, tell the lieutenant, before I left the house, I saw your mother coming up to the room to wish you good night. Tell him. I saw her. I saw her life before I left. Tell him, Elizabeth! Officer. This won't be necessary. Just one more thing.